everyone, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Today, I'm excited to show you the new model in our pods. Now in 2023, they've come out with this new 203 model. It is part of the 200 series. There's a 201, 202, now the 203. I love this model because it has so many great features. It's functional and stylish. If you're traveling with family, this one has full-size double bunks. You've got a Queen Murphy bed and a nice size dinette that can sleep as well. And the floor space, it's not crowded, all in a 25 foot trailer. Now, what it also has is these great bronze aluminum wheels. You've got the bronze also in the new graphics for 2023. And they take that inside to the new interior with, you guessed it, bronze hardware. Now this trailer weighs 5,200 pounds, 25 foot long, like I said, and it's got so many great off-grid, off-road functions. It's got everything. So you're gonna wanna stick around and see it all. The MSRP on this trailer, it's gonna run somewhere around 45,000. Now you know you need to check with your dealer on discounts. There's gonna be more important details about this camper in the video description down below. So be sure to check there if you need more details. Like I always say, features and options can change. Be sure to check with your dealer for the specifics on the trailer you're looking at. All right, I think it's time to go inside. Let's go. You know, walking into a trailer, I love to tell you how the space feels. Well, leaning on this countertop, I can tell you, it just feels very comfortable in here. Everything is very light. You've got the natural wood feel on this countertop, uh, the dark cabinets. They even carried the bronze in from the outside. Very light, very natural feeling. One of the nice things is, as many of you know, I'm five foot tall. This is a six foot seven height on the interior, and that really helps to make it feel very open as well. Plenty of floor space, just very inviting. But enough about that. Let's get started on this Murphy bed because that is one of the most functional parts of this camper. Now, first thing, let's check out the sofa. The seating here, really quite comfortable. It feels very foamy, kind of like a Tempur-Pedic mattress. I like that there's no arm, so it's very open, easy to put up and down. You do have side tables on both sides, 110 plug here, 12 volt on that side, and you'll notice there's also a WIFCO monitor panel there. Now that is for the inverter because one of the options you can get on an R-Pod is a 110 watt solar panel on the roof and a thousand watt inverter. Now that inverter is gonna take the battery power and turn it into a standard 110 plug like that one there, and so that you could plug in regular household items. It is a thousand watts, so you're gonna wanna be careful what you plug in. It won't run everything, and it certainly won't run your air conditioner or microwave, but it will run some small appliances, which is always handy. All right, the cabinets here. Let me show you the space in here. When you open this up, there is some storage space here, but it is only the top half of the cabinet. I like that the cabinet is the full size on the door. It just gives it a nicer style. Now laying down the sofa is very easy. Just lift up the bottom and you'll notice under here, you've got access to all the storage underneath. If the seat is down, you've got the netting in the front, but great storage there as well. This just lays down flat. You'll notice there is a nice map here. I mean, this is a family camper. They also give you repositionable stickers. Now these stickers can mark your route, your adventures across America. I did notice they had all of Canada, you know, Prince Edward Island. They've got Newfoundland and Labrador. They've even got Alaska and Hawaii down at the bottom. Might be interesting. So that might be fun. If that's not your style, that's okay. I bet you could be creative and put something else there. One clip right here brings the panel down and the mattress pulls right over. 
really simple to set up this queen bed. It's a 60 inch wide bed, 74 inches long, big window at the front. Now that window does open. I'll show you that in just a minute. The cabinet on the side has the hanging bar at the top, but of course you could always put shelves in there. There is a little extra space at the top in case you want to leave some things up there and look at the storage behind it. I could use that storage behind it for so many things. Lots of space right around the bed. Let me show you how that window opens. This front window is a dual pane acrylic window. Just unlatch the red handles, push this window out. Now you could crack it or you could push it out as much as you want. And on the ends here, you just tighten down the latches and it stays open. There's a blackout shade that pulls up from the bottom or a screen from the top. You do have a window on the side that's gonna have the screen sliding window and then of course some up in the living area so you could get a great breeze coming through here. To close it, just unlatch it and be sure you close all of these red handles. You do have a way here to crack the window let me show you that briefly. If you're not used to these windows, there is a slot right here in the middle. Just put that handle right in the slot. That's gonna give you a little bit of space here to get a little bit of air from the outside. You don't wanna travel like that though, because that will move this window around and it can break off. So be sure it's fully closed. You can see the entire latch on the red handle. Close it all the way around and you're good to go. Now, folding up a Murphy bed may not be one of your favorite things, but this one's really easy. Just lift up the mattress. This panel folds right up and clips into place. Then simply lift up the sofa and it folds into place as well and you're done. So simple. Let's move on. There's a lot more to see. The bar is such a nice touch. It adds more seating, of course, with these nice leather seated bar stools, but more counter space and, you know, a great place to maybe have a basket that holds your keys, the flashlight, all of those things that you need to just drop when you walk in the door. Great for families here. Up here at the end of the cabinet, you'll notice at the top, that's the solar charge controller. So with a 110 watt solar panel on the roof, this controls the solar panel charging the battery. You'll notice it's blinking because, well, we didn't put a battery on this unit before filming, but normally it would give you all kinds of readings, including how charged your battery is. That's gonna be important if you're not camping plugged into power. Below, of course, the interior lights, the porch light. The light is on here because we have the light on on the awning outside. Your slide in room and extending the awning all is just power buttons right inside the door. You'll notice right under the bar, there is a 110 plug, making it a great place to charge your phone or any of those items that maybe need to be plugged in right here. Let's keep going and take a look at the kitchen. Right on the end of the counter, you'll notice another 110 plug and the monitor panels. Of course, that's gonna monitor your black, gray, and freshwater tank and your battery. Down below, you'll see the water heater switch and the water pump switch. There is only one switch for this water heater. It is gas and electric. This is gonna turn on the gas and the electric switch is outside in the water heater compartment. Down below, the LP carbon monoxide detector. Be sure that if that's sharpened in the middle of the night, it's just telling you that your battery is getting low. All right, now let's talk about this kitchen. It is a unique configuration, not one you'll see a lot in campers. And let's face it, there is not a whole lot of space in this kitchen, but it's very workable. The counter space here is actually behind the sink in case you need to put appliances or anything out there. And if I wanted to prep food, honestly, I would do it right across at the table. So you have the wonderful 18 inch sink it is the dark aluminum sink, nice and deep, probably 10, 12 inches deep with this great faucet, single handle sprayer down here, 
put the cover up there. You can use that for draining dishes. Of course, that can be counter space as well if you need it. The two burner stove is a little unusual. You won't see this a lot in trailers, but it has the burners in front and behind. This graystone layout is really compact, but very usable. It just folds up and flips back out of the way. And instead of having side to side burners taking up that counter space, it's front to back. Down below, you have two drawers and they do go almost the full depth of this counter space. They're about four or five inches deep, each of them. And below the drawers is gonna be the converter. Now the converter is gonna take the 110 power, convert it to battery power to run almost everything in this camper. And there is one more storage right here under the sink. Now it's a V-shaped storage. It's at the full length, probably eight to 10 inches. So it's not huge, but still every little bit counts. And you know, you put it all together, there's quite a bit of storage space in this camper. Full cabinets right up here. There is no divider here, so you can use this as a full pantry, dishes, whatever you need. A nice power fan at the top here with a light and the exhaust fan. And over there near the end, you'll see there's the Bluetooth stereo with the AM, FM, and of course, all the cables and the HDMI that you would need. If you needed more storage space for the kitchen, there is also the pantry right across. Now this is gonna be the full length that you see. It's about two and a half feet deep. And there are three compartments here. So a lot of space here for you to use. Right across is the microwave convection and the refrigerator. This microwave convection, what a great thing. You don't need an oven. You can bake bread, you can broil a steak, and not sure how to do that? Don't worry, High Point has all of the times and directions online. So easy to look that up. And right on the front, just like most microwaves, they have the easy things like frozen dinners, pizza, fresh vegetables, that kind of thing. Microwave convection, it's such a great space saver. The refrigerator is a Furion, it's 12 volt, and it's eight cubic foot. That's huge for a trailer this size. If you look at how deep it is, you're looking at about two feet deep on this. Now, that's because this is a 12 volt refrigerator. It has a compressor just like the refrigerator in your house. Most RV refrigerators, they're gonna have coils in the back. That means they can't be as deep. If you ever look in an RV refrigerator, and it just isn't nearly as deep as one you'd have at your house, that's because it is meant to run on several different power modes and it has a heat exchange coil in the back that needs the space. This refrigerator runs strictly on 12 volt. It uses a fraction of the power that a standard 12 volt RV refrigerator would use. So don't worry about that. It cools in just a few hours and it's eight cubic foot, so plenty of space. Now, the one downside in this layout is that it is a little bit lower. Again, I'm five foot tall, so it doesn't bother me a bit. But for someone else, you do have to bend down just a bit to get to the refrigerator. But you know what? To fit all the other features in a trailer this size, I think it's worth it. I think it's still a great layout. Now, across from the kitchen, let's take a look at the dinette. This dinette is 72 inches long when you make it into a bed, 41 inches wide. Now that's still a great sleeping space for lots of folks. The table, again, it's that nice wood look. And I really like that it's got two poles down here. So if you're working on a computer or even eating with kids and a little rowdiness, it's extremely sturdy. It's not gonna wiggle around on you. The seating is comfortable. Just, it's a very nice place to sit in here. I love the modern look of the uh, light fixture up there. You do have sliding windows on three sides. 
Super nice there. Now let's take a look at the shades. Full blackout shades there. So that's kind of nice, especially in the evening when everyone's trying to sleep. And there's a little storage underneath as well. So let's peek at that. Right out here, you've got storage going all the way back under both dinettes. Really nice there. I mean, that could be used for so many things, even kitchen items if you needed that. We always get that question, can you get into the kitchen in the bathroom when the slide is in? And you can see, not on this trailer, unfortunately. Let's head to the back, take a look at the bunks. All right, these bunks, folks, they hold up to 300 pounds. You know, these aren't any wimpy bunks. You've got 44 inches in width and a full 74 inches long. So adults will have no problem with that. You notice the bottom one, we have it folded up to show you all of the storage here. There is a back door access to fit your bikes in here, maybe a small kayak, extra gear. Great for traveling with that. If you've got a ton of kids, you're gonna have some of that stuff. Both bunks have a window with sliding glass so you can get airflow in both units. Of course, they have their own lighting and the top bunk has a USB plug. The bottom one has a 110 plug. So great spaces down here to hang out. Now on this other side, I wanna show you one more thing. We've got the 20,000 BTU furnace, but under that, you've got the vacuum system that is built into this unit. You don't need any hoses, any extra attachments. Very easy. You just sweep up your camper and lift the bottom with your foot and the suction starts and you sweep it in there. Super easy to keep this camper really clean in the wilderness. Let me show you how easy it is. There are attachments that you can get uh, and they plug in right here if you think you need those. However, I have used this many times with no attachments at all. Very easy to open the panel on the left and clean it out when you need to do that when you get home. Let's take a look at the bathroom in the back. All right, first thing you'll notice the rectangular shower in the back. Let me show you what I love about this shower. These curtains that have the curve at the top they're on a rail and they very easily catch on the magnet on the far side. Now this can't cling to you when you're in the shower stick. It's actually on this rail out here. None of the water is gonna get out. You don't have to worry about where it goes. And with the curve at the top, you get a little more elbow room. Now I measured the height in this shower and it's six four. So eh, maybe not quite as tall, as the living area, but most of you can make that work. All right, across here, they do have netting, so you can have more storage right here. Medicine cabinet, the nice brass hardware on it. Three shelves here and storage space underneath. You do have a 110 plug right there on the corner for anything you need to plug in in the bathroom. And I will tell you, I really like the fact that they extended this not only for the storage down below, but this is just a nice place to keep, you know, maybe a few things that you'd like to have out on the counter. All right, a lot to see outside. Let's head that direction. This is a good time to talk about options. There aren't many on this R-Pod. The big options that you might be interested in will be the awning, 16 foot awning. It is a power awning with the light strip. Really nice space out here when that awning is out. Another option is gonna be what they call the bush kitchen. And that is this suburban griddle and the prep table next to it. Again, part of that outdoor kitchen that they have. The other option that you might be interested in is one that I mentioned before, and it's gonna be the solar panel, 110 watt solar panel with a thousand watt inverter. 
Now that is another option you can get. So those are the things you might wanna look for. There is a 13.5 BTU air conditioner standard on this trailer. You can upgrade to 15,000 BTU if you want. All right, now right here we've got, of course, the outside of the water heater. Remember I mentioned that your electric switch is out here in this panel. So if you're camping at a campground and you know you wanna run it on electric, just open the door, flip the switch, super easy. I mentioned the Bush kitchen here with the suburban griddle. Very easy to work with and the gas port just plugs right in under here. And so you just hang it from the rail and then you have the prep table that hangs on that very same rail on the other side. You do have a sprayer that comes with every R-Pod. Uh, this is about 20 feet long. It's huge, very helpful for I don't know, rinsing off if you're at the beach or maybe washing the dog, cleaning your grill pans, whatever you need to do. It's easy to see you've got these off-road tires, the bronze aluminum wheels that I just think look so sharp. And behind that, you'll see the Kurt independent suspension. That not only gives this a great clearance in case you wanna go off-road, but it also gives you this nice solid ride and the ability to go on things that maybe aren't highway smooth. The new graphics that they put on the 2023s are one of my favorite. You know, our pod likes to change graphics every year or two. I love this one because it's kind of minimal, pretty stylish, I don't know, easy to look at, a little different from what you might see on most trailers. Let's take a look in here. This is a great place for some more outside storage. Really helpful, particularly if you do a lot of outside cooking. I might keep some things in here for that. Coming around the back, the first thing I notice, of course, the ladder. That is a great feature. If you need to get up there, do any maintenance, take a look around, be sure everything's in good shape. Remember I mentioned that that bunk folds up and this is your access door on the back. You can see in there, you can put in, of course, the bikes, kayaks, any of the extra gear that you wanna put in there, and very easy to drop that bunk down from here. All you do, unclip it right here at the top, and that bunk lays right down. Pull down the panel, pull down the bed, and you have your bottom bunk once you've unloaded those bicycles. All right, spare tire's gonna mount on the back, you see that rugged tire, very easy to get to on the four inch bumper. You can also use this four inch bumper for storage if you want to. And let's not forget up at the top, you're prepped for a rear backup camera. That needs to be added by the dealer, but it's all pre-wired and ready to go. When you're camping in an RV park, you'll wanna plug in your 30 amp short cord right here. And if they have cable or satellite, just hook up right here in the back. And then you have the dump valves, of course, for your black and gray tanks right here. The hookup right here will dump your black and your gray. And of course they color code the handles. That's always nice. But I like that with all this clearance, this is really easy access. In front, this is the black tank flush. So when you're dumping your black tank, you can hook up the water hose. Be sure that you have this black tank valve open so that it can flush out and empty out, keeping everything nice and fresh. This is simply the vent for the 20,000 BTU furnace. Nice slide out here. You notice they do the laminated walls on the outside and on the side walls here. This is the fill for the 30 gallon fresh water tank. Now all the tanks on this R pod are 30 gallons. 30 gallon fresh, 30 gallon gray, and 30 gallon black. Pretty standard on almost all the R pods. This is the city water connection. It looks just like the black tank flush. So be sure to read the tags underneath. You don't wanna get those mixed up. And right down below, there is a fresh water drain if you need to drain the fresh tank. This is a pass-through storage 
goes all the way through to the other side. We'll take a look at that compartment on the other side. You can see here up at the top, mounted on the ceiling of this compartment, is the 1000 watt inverter. Now that inverter, remember I mentioned, that is gonna change your battery power into 110 power so that those household plugs will work. There is a magnetic catch on this door right here. Makes it nice and simple. I love that about our pods. And coming around to the front, you'll see the battery uh, boxes here on the back, propane tank right in front, and the electric jack that's standard. Love the graphics on the front. I love the black diamond plate rock guard. And we are back around to the other side of this pass-through storage. And again, the magnetic catch, I just love that. But you can access this pass-through from either side just as easy. All right, now we're back up to the entrance. And before we go, I wanna talk about this Moride step. It's so sturdy and it does have adjustments at the bottom on each side in case you're on uneven terrain, but so simple to put up. Just open the door, fold it in, and you're good to go. It clips into place. No messing with the step, pulling it out. It's so simple to operate and you have the assist handle as well, going in and out. I just think they have thought of so many great features on this trailer. I think it's the perfect blend of style and function. So whether you wanna camp at the campgrounds with your family or you wanna go a little bit off road and have some great adventures, this camper is made to do that. I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. I have had so much fun showing you around the RPOD 203. Give us a call if you have any questions. Again, we have video descriptions down below and I'll see you next time.